fast. I'm running for you right now. Last one. Boeing sprint, baby. Boeing sprint. everyone how are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful home day morning never mind <laughs> seriously thought it was wednesday anyways guys we uh went through this in the house <laughs> we'll move on from this uh situation anyways how's it going tq cold cold yeah Why are you cold? freezing well you go from getting a nice workout so you're like sweaty and you know you're all worked up and come out to the freezing cold it's like no. Probably doesn't help I have the windows down so we could get better lighting in the truck because the windows are tinted So uh, the video would be a little bit better for you guys. Just a little bit. Just a, li just, just a little bit But anyways, how was the workout? It was great. We're getting in shape for this lawn care season guys because we are going to absolutely kick its butt I feel so much better after I work out. Oh, I do too. You have so like, much more energy. Yeah, You're so ready to tackle energy. the day So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just hop into this video. Let's huh? tackle the day. Let's go. All right, so we just stopped here at Played Again Sports. I was hoping they'd have a used rack here for my dumbbells, but they don't. And uh, we picked up some more dumbbells here too. Uh, kind of just need more options, huh, TQ? Okay. TQ's lifting 55ers. Yeah. That's the look on your face when your wife makes you go to bath and body works. They do that breath smelling stuff though. Well, hello there, sunshine. 344 hours. going to do a one year review of the right zk guys this is the 61 inch deck this has the 37 horsepower big block engine on it the vanguard uh and i will say guys overall this mower is an absolute workhorse okay this thing is going to blow through thick grass tall stuff if you have something that needs knocked down it's a couple feet tall this mower will absolutely do it no problem whatsoever and it so, holds hills really good Yes, it does. I will say that also. Uh, this thing will hug a hill pretty darn well. I will say compared to other stand-on mowers, I would say the Ferris is probably the closest to this one, uh, hugging hills-wise, and it's simply because they have those big old rear back tires. This thing holds a ton of fuel, guys, and this mower is going to last you a solid probably two days uh, running that big block. Now, you're going to eat a lot of fuel with this mower, but you're running a big block. So you have to take that into account. Uh, comparable, like uh, TQ's grandstand, she can fill that thing up and run probably four days on it. This mower filled up, I'll have to at least fill up every two to two and a half days at the most. Uh, mm -hmm. Simply because this mower likes drinking fuel, but that's what it is. It's a bigger mower, it's a heavy duty mower. And uh, yeah, moving along into that, that's one of the knocks, I guess, personal wise. Uh, with this mower is simply it's got a lot of weight to it. Uh, we thought the same thing when we tested the Ferris out. Uh, we really liked the Ferris. We just uh, needed something that had a little smaller footprint on lawns because we were noticing with this mower last year with as wet as it was here in Ohio that we were sinking in yards, rutting yards up and we don't like doing that for our business. No, not at all. Some of that could not be avoided guys but some of it could be avoided just by simply having a little bit lighter mower. I will say another thing real quick, just to get some of the things we don't really care for with this mower out of the way, the deck wheels. Now, I, I know Wright put out a message about this. Uh, I believe they figured out what was going on that had something to do with the molding and the deck wheels there, the anti-stout wheels. Uh, they weren't seizing right. Uh, and basically these ones, uh, we had two of them just completely just fall off the mower. Uh, it was the two outer ones. The two center ones have been perfectly fine. Uh, but since we replaced the two outer ones, uh, we bought those ourselves. They're around like 20 something bucks a piece. Uh, we didn't go through warranty with it. I know Wright is, I believe, offering a warranty on those now. But uh, we bought them ourselves and they haven't had any other issues. We just bought those at our local dealer. Uh, other than that, TQ, can you think of anything else that we really didn't care for about this mower? Honestly, there's not a lot. The only thing for me really is how bad it really 
um, you can feel every bump, you know, and it, there's not a lot of cushion on this platform here. And I think, you know, in the future, putting a thicker cushion there or something would help or better shocks, I don't know, would help with that uh, absorption of the hard hitting of, you know, the, the holes and the bumps and stuff in the yard. Yeah, for sure, guys. Uh, you know, when you're standing between the wheels, you tend to feel a little bit more in your body. Uh, compared to the grandstand where we're standing behind it, it seems more of a cushion. You have more of a bounce there. Uh, the only other thing I will say with this mower, and this just seems to be in our area, the northern uh, grasses, is this deck is not the best deck for our style of grasses here. Now, with their defense, they have created a northern baffle kit for this mower. And I personally, we have not ran that baffle kit. Uh, we did do research on it throughout the year. We were going to buy it. But we heard mixed reviews from guys. I talked to guys that had purchased it. Some of them said it wasn't worth the money. Some said it changed everything and made the mower a lot better. Uh, a lot of other people were saying, uh, put different blades on it. Well, we went through four different style blades this year on it. And I'll just be honest with you guys, the deck clumps up very easily. Uh, that could bend uh, a little bit more because of how wet it was this year in Wright's defense, I guess you could say. But for this mower and for us this past year, we were clumping like crazy. We had to double, triple cut stuff constantly, guys. I mean, it seemed like it was all year long. Uh, but other than that, those are the main things. I know this mower down south, southern grasses, a uh, little bit drier climate. Uh, this mower is king down south, guys. Florida, this mower is everywhere. Uh, I just think for our area, we need a different style deck or some kind of modification to this deck. And like I said, that is without having trying their northern baffle kit that they make for this mower. It's overall built like a tank, guys. We ran this thing and ran this thing and ran this thing. I guarantee you it probably had 600 hours on it this year, guys. If we didn't demo probably 10 mowers throughout the season and then end up purchasing the grandstand on top of that, this mower would easily have 600 hours on it. Currently it is at 344.4. If I'm standing up here, just the accessibility of, you know, the throttle, the key, you know, all that stuff is, it's easy to get to. Yeah, the controls um, are very easy. Because these are um, low, real low. Um, and at first, I don't even know if they can see me, but at first. You're probably a little too tall, but it's all right. <laughs> Let me talk down. Too tall, me? First time ever in your life, <laughs> oh Kiki, you have to duck down. No, so like, at first, I felt like because there is a... a huge gap right there with my little hands but I just I got used to it real quickly but um, besides I, I really like how easy it is to get to these controls controls here <laughs> yeah another thing guys <laughs> yeah for sure this mower the controls are built right guys they're in all the right spots the deck lever here you know the hand controls the parking brake they are in great positions compared to some of the other mower brands stand on mower brands that are out there and I will absolutely say that right right now is making a great pad back here guys mm -hmm. uh, that is one knock on the toro i will say is if it rains that pad holds moisture yeah. if this pad gets wet it dries very quickly and your legs never get wet with it and trust me guys it rains a lot and the last thing you want are the front of your jeans or work pants uh being soaking wet so right i absolutely love that pad is it me or when you're lowering and um bringing the deck back up does it seem is it light yeah, it's even like, with the motor sitting on top of it for sure that is something that's what i thought i like that yeah for sure right has that figured out 100 percent. go ahead and move it once tq if you notice the engine will drop when you lower the deck guys see it's it's completely suspended with the deck so go ahead and lift it back up see how it all lifts up together that is phenomenal and for the amount of weight you are lifting mm -hmm. here guys this thing is super super easy I know for this year, the lever for us, I don't know if it's everybody's model, but you want to, when you get it down in place, you want to make sure you pull it back to lock it into place so you're cutting at the appropriate height. Uh, to clarify, this is simply our, our opinion in our area. I know guys that absolutely love this mower, guys. I mean, absolutely love it. And we love it too. It absolutely does the job that we need it to do. Uh, I don't see in the future us getting rid of it. Uh, you know, for big open fields that we mow, uh, the only thing I would like to see is maybe a little more speed out of this size mower. Uh, you know, it runs right around 10 miles an hour, about the same as the Toro. Uh, I just think with the, the bigger engine, even though I know that has nothing to do with the wheel motors, I just think with the bigger engine, the bigger overall, 
uh, mower, it should have a little more speed to it. Um, I will say that our mower came with a snack bag. Yeah. A little, uh, the trash bag right there. Um, the Toro did not. I had to order that one, but a yep. uh, must have for your mowers is one of those trash bags. That is an awesome feature mm -hmm. Wright offers with this mower, guys. The trash bag is awesome. And they have some pretty cool other features. Uh, you know, little attachments and stuff you can put on these things. We didn't buy many of them. Uh, we did get the quick shoot over here. Uh, this thing is awesome. I highly recommend it for any stand-down mower you get. I would like to see a little bit better uh, cut quality for our area, for our lawns. Uh, we have really thick Kentucky bluegrass here, guys, and a few other different styles of uh, grasses. And this deck just does not really care for our grasses. Weeds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but other than that, man, I'll tell you what, this mower has been an absolute blessing to our business, helped us grow this year, uh, helped us be fast, and uh, very, very reliable, guys. And I'll tell you what, nothing on this, if you have to take this mower in for any kind of repairs or anything, which is very few, far in between, that is what Wright is known for, this mower does not break down very often, guys. But if you do, you are going to get cut, great customer service to get it fixed. I will add... I've done an oil change on this thing. Yeah. It is a little hard to get to the, uh, oil plug. the oil plug. To drain it. Yeah, it's a little hard, so I don't know if maybe making that a little more accessible. Yeah, it's, but it's a little hard. It's a tight area in there for sure, but yeah. it's, it's definitely doable. Uh, that was another good point, TQ. I forgot about that one. But uh, other than that, guys, man, I mean, it's an absolute great mower for ten, eleven thousand $11,000, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, Spencer's Lawn Care would definitely recommend it to any of you. Uh, I know I've had tons and tons of questions on this mower. Uh, but like anything, we always tell you, go out, try the mower yourself. See what you mm -hmm. like. You know, what you like is different than what we like, and what we like is different from what you like. And uh, yeah, man, you can demo all these mowers now. These companies are awesome at getting <laughs> demos out. I know Wright is actually offering a program uh, where you can get a demo pretty much brought to you or very close to you, and you can try them out. So... That's awesome of Wright. I know they're really stepping out on the social media game, and we all appreciate that as influencers. Uh, Wright, keep it up. Ed, keep it up. Judith, keep it up. We see you guys hustling. Great job here. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a very successful 2020 <laughs> lawn care season. I was going to say, now that you've heard what our opinion is about it, strictly our opinion, um, drop in the comments. If you have any questions about the Wright, Maybe we can answer them or give you any advice about it. Drop them in the comments and we'll try to help you out as far as all that. For sure. And if you guys have any suggestions of the problems that we kind of stated here, uh, drop them in the comments also. Like so. the oil changing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Take you out. Peace. Because it's cold. Freezing. <laughs> what are we doing? Put your mower away. <laughs>